Hello everybody, my name is Joshua Winkins, and welcome back to another video. Now in this video, I want to give you my honest opinion on Filmic Pro. Now this is not sponsored at all, I literally just bought this app, and I've been testing it out for the past couple weeks. Now this app is a basically is a camera app that allows you to have more manual control of your smartphone or Samsung phone, whatever you're using. Now I'm using it on the iPhone XS to demonstrate its capability and I basically want to give you an overview on whether or not you should buy this app because the app costs $15 then you have to buy the cinematography kit which costs like another $15 so in total this app costs about $30. That's a pretty ex that's pretty expensive for just a camera app. So I kind of want to be the guinea pig, test it out, and give you my honest opinion on whether or not Filmic Pro is an app that you should have if you're a filmmaker. Okay guys, now my iPhone is all screen recorded, and I want to go ahead and just open up the app for you. This is what the app is, looks like and what's called Filmic Pro. So go ahead and open up the app. As you can see, this is what the app looks like. It's really complicated and it looks really advanced, but it really isn't that advanced. Now as you can see, you can see right here, you can just see the levels of your microphone, pretty standard right there. And then this little white button is how you record. So you go ahead and just press on that and there you are. You started to record a video, just untap it and there you go. The video is done. Press the, press the little play icon as you can see, as you can see here, the different media, you can delete it, upload it, airdrop it, whatever actions you want to take. But that's how you access the media library. Now on the settings, a couple of important parts to understand is the camera. You can switch to different camera angles. You can also turn on the guide to make sure things are level. You can mess with the audio. And then here you can change the different uh, frame rates. Over here in resolution, you can just change the aspect ratios and change the different resolutions. I believe my phone can go all the way up uh, to 4K. So there you go. Just, it just depends on what your phone, how high, how high of a quality your phone is. If it's 4K or it's just 1080, I think most phones are in 4K. But that's pretty much the important part. There are other things, but that's just the bottom line of the app. And as in the middle, you can see the frame rate you're shooting in and the resolution. Pretty self-explanatory there. Now go ahead and press this little color three uh, three circles, three colored circles, and you can see here are your different white balances. As you can see, here's tungsten, sunny, cloudy, incandescent, and then you, if you want to do auto white balance, here's the auto white balance, and then you can just lock it. But most likely you want to go ahead and just switch to one of the different white balance settings, or just change the temperature. Over here, as you can see, you can change the different, I want to go ahead and just yeah, put it put on tungsten. As you can see, you can just change the different picture profiles. So that is a really big plus if you're a filmmaker, because on the normal iPhone camera, you can't change the picture profile, uh, or you can't change the white balance. So having access to that is uh, really nice. Again, you can just r press red, press it again to lock it. I'll just put on a tungsten since that's n pretty normal. As you can see up here, here are your manual controls. So here is your uh, manual zoom. This is on, it's on focus right now. And then you can manually zoom it. And then this is just manual focus. Now on the other side, the top number is your ISO. The bottom number is your shutter speed. If you want to just lock one and change the other, just press the red. You're changing the ISO. If you want to unlock it, untap it, press the ISO. Let's say you want to lock the ISO there. Now you can just change the shutter speed. Go ahead and click this little A icon. As you can see, here is the zebra to show zebra pattern to show what's overexposed and what's not. And then another important thing is right here. This just shows you what is in focus. The green tells you what is in focus. So that just helps you to make sure everything is in focus. And that pretty much is the bottom line for uh, Filmic Pro. That's kind of the major parts of Filmic Pro. Now the last two most important things is focus and exposure. The circle is the exposure and the rectangle is the focus. Right now it's unlocked. Now let's see, I can just drag it over here, change the exposure. Right now it's on auto to lock it. Just press it again and there you go. 
it's in a manual setting, so there you go, the exposure doesn't really change. Unlock it, and it will just change as the exposure changes. This little rectangle thing is the focus, so again, white is it's an autofocus right now. To lock it, just press, just tap it, turns red, and now the focus is locked. That pretty much is the bottom line for Filmic Pro. Anyways guys, hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Hopefully this video was really helpful and really informative. I upload new videos every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, all about Final Cut Pro tutorials, filmmaking tutorials, and camera gear review videos. I'm also giving away this Google Home Mini for free once I reach 1,000 subscribers. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys in the next one. Peace!